Skinner's work centered on the idea that our behaviors are guided by their consequences, and he set out to study this in a controlled laboratory setting. To do so, he created a device called the Skinner Box, a small enclosed chamber equipped with a lever, a food dispenser, and sometimes a light or a tone. By placing animals, usually rats or pigeons, in the box, Skinner was able to carefully observe their behavior and manipulate the consequences of their actions. One of the key principles of operant conditioning is reinforcement, the process by which a behavior is strengthened through its positive consequences. In Skinner's experiments, this often took the form of food rewards. For example, when a rat pressed the lever in the Skinner box and received a food pellet, the positive consequence of receiving food would reinforce the behavior, making the rat more likely to press the lever again in the future. On the other hand, operant conditioning also involves the concept of punishment, the process by which a behavior is weakened through its negative consequences. In some of Skinner's experiments, pressing the lever would result in an unpleasant event, such as a mild electric shock. In these cases, the negative consequence would discourage the animal from pressing the lever again. Skinner's research also revealed that the timing and frequency of reinforcement and punishment play a crucial role in shaping behavior. He discovered that a behavior is more likely to be learned if the consequences are delivered immediately after the behavior occurs. Additionally, he found that behaviors can be reinforced or punished on different schedules, which can greatly impact the speed and strength of learning. For instance, continuous reinforcement, where a behavior is reinforced every single time it occurs, leads to rapid learning, but it can also result in the behavior quickly disappearing once reinforcement is no longer provided. On the other hand, partial reinforcement, where a behavior is only reinforced some of the time, leads to slower learning, but the behavior tends to persist, even when reinforcement is no longer provided. Skinner's findings have been applied in various fields, including behavioral therapy, parenting, animal training, addiction treatment, and workplace management.